Guten Tag, Tres Russia, Buenos Dias, and in what other language you can think of, hello, and welcome to our to our four o'clock first TV, um, Facebook Live class. Glad you guys can join us today. Hope everybody is doing well. Today we're going to be talking about a few different uh, skills and different and different um, life skills today, and uh, going through a few different activities that we hope you guys can try out at home and follow along with. Our our core lesson today is going to be our general meeting and greeting skills. Now, this may have changed a little bit in the past, but we'll, we'll get there as we can. With our golf skill, we're going to be talking about our body balance and having a balanced finish. In our life skill, and our healthy habit today, we want you guys to remember, it's friends. Always want to have some friends. But first, let's go ahead and get warmed up, get kind of loosed up. So. It's as I like to start, I always like to start with some nice core twists. So we're gonna do about ten of these, you know, back and forth. Uh, if you probably can't hear it, but my back sounds like bubble wrap. You know, stretch that arm out to the right. You know, stretch out the shoulder. And switch it up. Left. And then do about ten arm circles. Six, three, two, one, and flamingos, right leg, you want to hold up that right leg. Since we're talking about balance today, we want to make sure that we're staying in the same spot as we do this, controlling where we go. We're not hopping around in little circles. Then switch over to the next one. Now for this last one, you might have to find a different location to this, but if you got a set of stairs, that's the best. So I'm going to move over some stairs. We're going to do what we, what we call some calf lifts. So in this one, you want to start with your toes just off the edge. Your toes only, your heels are off the edge. You're just going to lift down and up. Really test your balance and your strength of your legs. Down and up. Do about five to ten of those. Take a quick little break. Then do about five more. Do two sets of five. You feel it burning in the back of your calves. And so, that kind of wraps up our warm-up. So today we're gonna to be talking about balance and, and uh, our balance finish. But I also wanna go over our, our general meet and greet. You know, how we communicate with others. In the first tee, we have our, our first tee meet and greet, which used to be, you take up your hat, have a nice fir firm handshake, and you know, direct eye contact with the person you're speaking and said, hello, my name is Coach Tim. It's very nice to meet you. And uh, you also give that person a compliment after they told you their name. And you want to have a good sturdy handshake. You don't want to death grip their hand. You know, you don't want to, you want to think you're, you're holding on to an egg. You want to hold it so it doesn't fall, but you don't want to crush it. But, but since we're also want to practice good social distancing, you know, handshake, probably not the best idea. We got now we have the elbow touch is a good one, or just simple hello, wave, or as I like to do, nice little tip of the hat, or you know, you take your hat off to someone, or just tip it down, you know. Just any way you can cur courteously, courteously express greetings to someone. Like, and if you can come up with some other ways, leave a comment down below on how you like to communicate, communicate hello with uh, other people. So, as we move on, but, and with that, we also want eye contact and, you know, speak to the person. You know, you can't even hear what I'm saying right now. That doesn't seem very confident. So, you want to be like, hello. So hear the person quite clearly. Look at them. Got any comments for some other greetings? Not yet. All right. Also with me, yeah, say hello, Coach Jonathan. All right, hello guys. How are you doing, Tim? He's working the camera today. I'm yeah. doing pretty good. How are you? Doing well. A little cold, but all right. Yeah, weather's not as nice as it was yesterday. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get on to our balance practice, and that way we're moving this way. Now, when we, talk, when we mention our body balance and our balanced finish, having a balanced finish means we're not stumbling all over the place. We're controlling what our actions are as we make our shot. Now, a lot of other sports have to have a balanced finish to be successful. 
biggest one I uh, think is baseball. They have a balanced finish. You know, batter gets up to swing, and as he swings, he's he's not falling over. You don't see him trying to spin around. If he does, he probably missed the ball. But it, they make their swing, and they got their they got their hold. Golfers, we have we got our swing. You know, with my irons, I'm gonna take my stance. And after every swing, when we talk about a balanced finish, we also hear the coach call it strike the pose. Means like if you're ready to take a picture for your, if you're ready for you to be in Sports Illustrated magazine, so they want that action shot. You want to strike that pose. You want to be able to stand still and you to stand still, not fall over because if you're falling over, are you balanced? Not likely. And if your if your body is balanced, you are in control. Not only will you not fall over, but you'll notice a difference in your shots. Me personally, I've noticed that if I feel that I'm falling backwards, my ball is actually my ball is going to do one of two things. It's going to either go straight up because I hit it up, or I'm going to barely tip the ball and it's just going to flop around in front of me because my club didn't reach it. So as my, as my balance finish, I want to make sure that all my weight is actually on my lead foot. So I'm pretty much standing on my left leg. So I make my finish. So all my weight is forward. I'm balanced. I'm in control. And my ball is just going to fly out there. Yeah, same goes with other shots. Half shots in your wedges. You, know, you still want to make sure you're, you're in balance. Not moving much, just as simple. And this is something you guys, I encourage everybody at home to do. You know, uh, everybody, go ahead, where you are, stand up, take your golf stance, don't even need a club. You know, take your golf stance, make the swing, and try to see how long you can actually hold it before you have to fall over. You wanna be able to hold it for at least a count of 10. So if we go up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That might be a little long, but if you can hold it that long, you are in control. You will have a good balanced finish. If you really feel like challenging yourself, you know, pick whatever club you want. Count, you take, come out here, and you can try making your full swing with one leg. Switch legs. So I challenge you to do that. Take some time every once in a while. Pull out either a club, a baseball bat, broomstick, or regular old stick, or no stick at all. But just take your time and do some swings. You know, practice that motion and strike that pose. Because you want to be able to, to look at it like, look at me, I'm the best. So strike the pitch. Alright. Alright, so that's our that's our balance in our full swing. So we're gonna move inside now to work a little bit on our balance in our putting. So let's go ahead. As we're transitioning, let's always remember we want to stay safe and and clean, so got my handy sanitizer. Little left. Uh, Make sure I'm getting my whole hand, getting everywhere. So, in this game, this is what we call putting twister. So, this is something you can easily make at home. Use either colored tape or markers on a piece of paper. So, each page, I'm gonna put my foot on one of these colors. And, we, and if you have the twister spinner, you can. Otherwise, you can make one simply like this. You know, have your colors, little spinning needle here. And that's where, and that's where it's put. So, whatever color lands on here, that's where I'm going to put my foot on these pages to try to ju judge my balance as I make my swing. So, I'm going to go right foot, yellow, and left foot, blue. So, I got my right foot and my left foot blue. Bring my ball over here. My, I aim it to my target now. This is a little awkward because 
just how it is basic from what I normally stand. So, but I still want to make sure I stay balanced and I'm not falling. I'm not going to fall over or take some. I'm going to take my time with my shots. A little strong, but I kept my balance. I made my swing. It's okay. So, and my next shot, I want to do again. Yep. Right foot green. And, and left foot yellow. Now, ball's pretty much in the front of my stance. I've still got to try to make that still smooth putt and still want to make it in my target. Just too much too strong. But, but that's why we keep trying. We try our best and we keep working. That's what practice is for. Right, do one more shot. For this round, and you can do it. You can play this with different other people. You know, you play it with your siblings, challenge each other, make it a make it a game. Going on the right foot red and left foot purple. Now, now it's a little wider, and ball's in the back of my stance, so I'm a little, a little awkward. So let's see if I can actually make a point this time. Oh well, but but that's why we keep trying. But I, what my goal today wasn't to make wasn't necessarily to make points, but was to focus on my balance. Um, so we want to be want to think of our balance. So let's recap. So as we talk about our balance, we want to make sure are we in control, and that kind of ties in with our our life skill. Of self-management, are we? We are the ones in control of our own actions. We are the ones taking care. So, as we as we go about with self-management, we think of: Am I balanced? Am I in control of what I'm doing? Am I making right choices? That's how we go about with that with connecting our life skill, self-management, to our golf skill of body balance. You know, we are the ones in control of our own selves. And meeting and greeting. It's, a, it's good to meet new people. That's how you make friends. You got If you want to make friends, you've got to be confident in how you approach people, but also be respectful to them and try to make the best impression. You know, you said a lot of, lot of times when you're going for a job, they say first impression is, is the most important. That's, that's really much true. How you present yourself. Whether you're just like, yeah, yeah fine. Floppy handshake. Doesn't say confidence, but if you say, "Hi, I, my name is this," how you present yourself, I have confidence in yourself. So, meeting and greeting, you know, be respectful, but and be polite to the other people, and that may make an impact, and that person may 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 be another friend that you can have as you go on. So, we hope uh, hope you guys have uh, had a look. We're able to practice a little bit on your body balance today. If you guys really want to, I really want to see some of you guys' response for these games. You know, your homemade twister. You know, make make your own games, make your, your own thing, and complete, share them with us. We hope to see it, see those in our future comments and events. Hope to see you guys tomorrow for uh, our next uh, Facebook Live. Until then, stay safe. Have a nice day.